Good morning, friends. It's Ms. Amalia, the Trenton Library, saying hi and thank you for stopping by on our story time today. Today's story time is quite a quizzical one. I question many things about this letter because it's quite unique in that it looks like one letter, but it actually is another one entirely, and it makes a really quiet sound, but not always. Hmm. Can you guess what that would be? If you guess the letter Q, you would be right. And I say it's curious because it does look like another letter. It looks like the letter O without the, you know, without the line there. And it almost looks like a G, except that there's a little arrow going that way. Hmm, what do you think would be a way that would help me figure out this letter? Let's see, how about if I turn this letter into something else? Let's see, oh, there's a bird that we can turn it into. Let's make it this wing right here and a bird called the quail. The quail has this really cute little head thing, <laughs> that little um, feather on top of its head, and of course it needs a beak. How's that for a letter? The letter Q, also for quail. And let's compare my letter quail, my letter Q to a real quail. Ta-da! Oh, it's upside down, ah, right side up. It would've been a very upset quail. So see? There we go. And another thing that might help us remember about our Q is that Q also stands for quarter. And a quarter is one out of four. So let's see if we can divide this circle into four pieces. So one line going up, one line going across. That looks about four. And my quarter is right there. See, quarter. Q is for quarter. You can pretty much turn anything into four, more or less, like a pizza, an apple. We'll just have one fourth of it and call it, call it a quarter. That's pretty cool. Very well done. Let's see, is there anything else that has that letter Q sound? Often you see the letter Q followed with a U. Oh dear, it looks like my marker is drying up. So could there be something else that has that Q and then a U? Hmm. What if we looked in our box of mystery and found out? Oh, you're right. There are some names that start with Q. Oh, very good. You got so ahead of the game. How about Quinn? I have a friend at the library. His name is Quinn. How about Clinton or Quintanella? Hmm. Is there anybody else that might have a name that has a Q and a U? Hmm. If you think of one, I bet there's some really beautiful names that have that Q and U sound together. Or Q, another letter. Typically, with most things, you'll see the U with it, but that's not always true. Things are so unique. I think there is a Q in there. <laughs> it's so cool, let's see. Hmm. You know what's the other thing that I love as a librarian more than anything else? You might think it's quiet. It's not that at all. One of my favorite things, which I think is in this box of mystery, is not quiet, which is also a Q-U word, but the word question. I love questions. It's one of my favorite things. Let's see if there's anything else that might be in this box of mystery that could answer that question of what starts with Q. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, look at what I have here. Now, this doesn't start with the Q. This starts with the C. It is a crown. But when I put it on my head, I become a queen. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Maybe there's something else that has that Q at the beginning of it. What about an action? Instead of slowly, we go. What do you think? Instead of slowly, we could go. Very good. Let's try it slowly. You can try it on your lap or with your hand. And now we're gonna go quickly, ready? Oh, we were so great at this. Fantastic work. Now there's another sound that has the Q sound with it. And it's actually one of my favorite animals, creatures. It's actually a bird. I like birds. Do you like birds too? <laughs> good, I'm so glad to hear that. If you don't like birds, that's okay too. I'm just, I like birds, but one of my favorite birds has a sound that begins with a Q. It's quack, quack. 
Did you guess what my favorite bird is? Ah, you're right, it's a duck. So let's do a song featuring a duck and five little ducks and a mama duck. And they are gonna go out for walk us one day. Are you ready to do it with me? I see that beautiful hand for you. There we go. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack. And four little ducks came waddling back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack. And how many are coming back? Three. Three little ducks came waddling back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack. And two little ducks came waddling back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack, quack, quack. And one little duck came waddling back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack, quack, quack. And no little ducks came waddling back. Okay, this is the part where you pretend to be really, really sad. Okay, let's try it together. Sad mama duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called with a quack, quack, quack. And all her ducks came waddling back. Oh, you did such a magnificent job. Give yourselves a round of applause. And I know I went through that song kind of quickly. So, because I'm really excited about this book I want to share with you called Little Quack. You may have seen it. It's actually a bunch of different stories featuring Little Quack. Isn't he cute? He's very cute. He has a really cute quacky sound. I wonder what kind of adventure it's going to be in this book. This book is by Lauren Thompson and pictures are by Derek Anderson. See in the back. What do you think this story is going to be about? Could it be like the five little ducks? Let's find out. Oh, look, I see one, two, three, four, five little ducks. Oh my goodness. This book is also published by Simon Schuster. Mama Duck had five little ducklings, Whittle, Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. They all live together in a nice soft nest. That looks really soft. And look, there's a little duck yawning. Must be really early in the morning, don't you think? But even Mama's little duckling was not so little anymore. It's time to leave the nest, she said one day. Come, little ducklings, Mama called. Paddle on the water with me. Five little ducklings squeezed close in the nest. No, Mama, no, they cried. We're too scared. You can do it. I know you can. Count along with the quack later. No ducklings in the pond. See, nothing in the pond yet. At once, Whittle felt very brave, and she jumped into the pond. Splash! Look! She cried. Look at me! Look at her go in the pond. So, there's only one duckling in the pond. Now, four little ducklings snuggled close in the nest. Come, little ducklings, Mama called again. Paddle on the water with me! No, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Waddle. Piddle paddle and little quack. You can do it. I know you can. Just one. Then Waddle felt very brave. He plopped in the pond. Splash! Hooray, he cried. Hooray for me. I like his hair. <laughs> he was pretty, pretty brave right there, didn't he? Now, three little ducklings clung close to the nest. Come, little ducklings, Mama called again. Paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. Quack. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. See, one and one equals two. One, two. Two little ducklings in the pond. Then Piddle, for a moment, felt very brave. She wiggled in the water and sploosh! It's fun, she cried. It's lots of fun. Has it ever happened to you where you felt kind of scared? 
And then once you, once you got into the water, like swimming, you felt better afterwards. Hmm. I guess they must be the same for a little pebble. All right, let's see. I have one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. Three little ducklings in the pond. Now, two little ducklings close, cuddle close in next. Come, little ducklings, Mama called again. Paddle on the water with me. No, oh, Mama, no, we're too scared, cried Puddle and Little Quack. You can do it, Mama said. I know you can. At last, Puddle felt very brave too. Sometimes when I need to feel brave, I take a big breath. He leaped into the water. Spoosh! Wait, wait, he cried. Wait for me! Well, it looks like he's going quick. That left just one little duckling in the nest. Just one little quack. How do you think Quack is feeling right there? He looks kind of scared. Do you think he's kind of scared? Hmm, let's find out what happens to little quack. Let's see, the math problem here at the bottom. One plus one plus one plus one equals four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is a big set. Come little duckling, Mama called once more. Paddle on the water with me. No, Mama, no, cried Little Quack. I'm scared. I'm just too scared. You can do it, Mama said. We know you can, cried Whittle, Waddle, Tittle, and Tuttle. What do you think? Do you think you can do it? He is scared, but maybe it helps if we took a deep breath. <gasps> hmm. Little Quack looked at the water. What do you think he's going to do? He sniffed at the water. He touched the water with his foot. Could he do it? Did he dare? Would you want to try cheering little Quack on? Go, Quack, go! Suddenly, little Quack felt just brave enough. He closed his eyes then. Splish, splash, swoosh, splash. Into the water he plunged. I did it, he cried. I really did it. I always knew you could, Mama said. Then off they went, five little ducklings as proud as can be, Whittle, Waddle, Tittle, Tuttle, and brave little Quack. Let's see, one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one equals five. Five ducklings in the pond. Let's see if our math is right. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And a brave little Quack. And that is the end of our story. You did a magnificent job listening. I'm so glad you stopped by our story time today. And I hope you enjoyed the story of Little Quack. Um, and I hope you get a chance to see you at the library someday. We are open for people to come in and browse and check out books and drop off books and um, just say hi to the library. So thank you again for stopping by. And before we go, one last song, which is a twinkle, twinkle little star. If I could see, please see your beautiful hands high in the air, like so. And we can do it together. Ready? Make those hands sparkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was beautiful, fantastic work. And this is our goodbye. Till next time.